every poor person is fond of doing every bad thing to get whatever they want. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. A poor person, 95 percent. 95 percent of every words they speak is negative. Leave alone the negativity. Mm. Lies. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sheikh, you killed me. What do you mean lies? Like, for example, no. <laughs> oh, I see people are opening the company. Mm. That is the way to, to say. Nainga, you can make money in Dubai. Mudeo, your negativity in Dubai, Yanema, Dubai, which you know. Bari, we bari. Not you, but you can and you can make money. Actually, I change to see Wow. Yeah. Jensen, me, I like change a lot of Like never zanya mami wange because mami wange yampu. He is my advisor. She's my advisor. You are rich, mom. Yes, of course, because my mom is my friend. Aba na ba la na ba singa ba mama ba isa mama. So ba ba zade wa itiwa for our friends to them. Aba singa. Ne mama uri wa na ba na mukwa na kono mwa kuzi. Mzee mami mbera oni mukwa mami ne mama makati. Njaga la kule tamu toka wait ni wait. Nanga tu gena jifu na bata ne Twitter. Ne tu bala nanga makati. You are telling me you're telling a twenty-two year old. Yes, yeah. Telling the mother we are going to bring this. Yes, yeah, this and this. At twenty-two years, you're supposed to ask for money. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. Naga mbaka chukole we tuti. Atenga ne Uganda chidja. Che my next year ne Uganda tu gena bata gudeo branch. Praxon. No, my name. We are using my name. In Uganda, dala wa masaka tu gena take our branch name. Bala then sembere kampala. Inshallah. Che my church, but. Abaza demba fule mikwano jao, mikwano jamwe. Mwa ya mami nye nakola chino, mami nye chino. Nja kuwa advisor gambo yu nakola wote ni wote. Yen songora chini mfuse chino teche ni chemunda. Because of my mother and father. Because they, they are my friends, beba soka mchona. Chenge ndo kola, beba soko chimanya. Then, na mwene mchila wa brown. The yeah, where is the money? Can you advise them? And you make us sit and look for money and mine this money in Dubai? Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, as a, as a Muslim and as a chef, Islam teaches us one thing. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, uh, every morning on his prayer mat, he would never leave the place where he was seated. Rather, he would pray to the Lord and tell him one thing. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-kufuri. I seek refuge in you. I wanted to interpret it, of course. <laughs> I, I seek refuge in you. Yeah. It's also in the Bible. I, I seek refuge in you, mm. okay, against poverty and disbelief. And disbelief. Yes. Against poverty and disbelief. And disbelief. You understand? What do you mean? What, how would a prophet think of seeking refugee from poverty meaning that poverty is one thing every poor person that if you do, is fond of doing every bad thing to get whatever they want yeah that's true that's true yeah. a poor person 95 percent 95 percent of every words they speak is negative Leave alone the negativity. Lies. Lies. <laughs> no, Sheikh, you killed me. What do you mean lies? Like, for example, no. if, <laughs> well, if, sometimes I lie, but I'm if, not if sure. he wants and, and his mindset tells them that I cannot get it by speaking the truth, yeah. they will end up lying <laughs> to get it. You understand? Yeah. They will end up lying to get I, it. I lie sometimes, but not too much. Not because they want to lie. You understand? But the situation forces them to doing this. This is why the Prophet every single morning would say, Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from poverty. And disbelief. Is that understood? Now, that is number one. Number two of this thing is that you as a person, you as a human being, mm. yes. you must have a dream. You must have a dream. You must have a dream. And the dream must be that I must succeed. I must succeed. 
I say it every morning and I work towards it. Yes, I must succeed. But the success has to be rooted from the path of the ways that do not leave tears behind yeah. the people you leave behind you. Right. Very right. You get, you get the point? I get you 100%. Whatever you say, or whichever thing you say I am going to do to get success out of it, all right? Okay. It must be rooted in a path that has no tears in it. There you have a guarantee of being successful because you will have the help from two sides. You will have the prayers of the people that you leave behind and you will have the blessings from God himself. Because I'll tell you something. There is no rich man who can tell you that they know how they got rich. Sure. No. Every single one of them started something and they saw this thing growing slowly by slowly. Money coming in. They don't know where the customers come from. You understand? But these are, these are the things we forget. And we tend to look for money to be rich by causing, other, by causing tears and anger into the people we live, we live behind. Trust me, when you, that kind of, of richness is called a time bomb. At a certain moment, it will blast you. And they will start saying, he used to have money. I hate that <laughs> word. And uh, it has been my prayer. It has been my word. I don't want to be called, that lady was smart. Yes. That lady had a degree. Uh, this is one thing I used to tell people, that even if I, ha I found a thousand billion dollars here mm -hmm. and I know it belongs to someone and I know it's not mine I wouldn't take it sure yes like in Dubai here my sister I wouldn't take it <laughs> that's cool why because I know it wouldn't come there by itself it must have been left there by someone mm. and this is something valuable mm. so somebody cannot just leave something valuable in a place Okay, can I cut you short now? Imagine, let's talk about people in the United Arab Emirates, and uh, in particular, these people without a visa. Think about it. And you get a chance to get money, like the way you brought it somewhere. Really, will, I say, will you recommend that person to leave that money there and go and suffer instead of clearing the... <laughs> hey, really? Say. Trust, trust me. <laughs> Like I, my second point that I was going to talk about is principle. Principle. Being principal. You need to have values as a person. Yeah. If you have no values, then you, you are for everything, for everyone, for everywhere. And that's what we call being useless. Stop there. Uh, let me finish this briefly. Because when you are for everyone, for everything, for everywhere, that means every type of wind that comes will blow you to where it goes. So everything, everywhere, what do you mean? I want you to explain because someone out there might not understand. This is someone who has no values, who has no principles. For example, it's like uh, a week since they started seeing this young lady. Mm. You understand? A few days back when I had a discussion with her, I saw that she's doing what she's doing mm. because she has a goal. She has a goal. So that is... And trust me, there are some words I wanted to tell her, but I had to cut them. This is the right moment now she'll hear them right now. I know. I had to cut those words. You know why? Because I looked at her having a goal she wants to score. Already she has a dream. Yes. Now I said, okay. Now when I tell her this, even though I think it's, I think it's the truth. For her, she knows her goal is the other side. Yes. Even when I say this, 
it's going to cut off everything. And you know why? When someone is in a state of emotions, you don't bring your advice to them. Sure. Because they won't understand you. I get you. So she is really emotional and focused on whatever she's focused on to. Even if you bring which kind of advice, it will, not it will be useless. You need to wait for her. Come back. At a time when she is at ease. You understand? I understand. Now she is focused at doing this business. Let her do it first. As long as she's not crossing anyone's boundaries, leave her to do it. Leave her? This is why I said, okay, I will not say this now. My dad used to tell me when I was young, they stop you when you're coming back. They don't stop you when you're going. Exactly. So now I'm relating it with you. Exactly. <laughs> So I, I looked at someone who is focused, who does things. I asked her why you do this. I didn't ask her directly, but I said, I talked about something she does. And she gave me reasons, principally. And I was like, oh, okay, not a problem. I have no more comment. You understand? Mm. So if she didn't know what she wants. You would have advised her. No. I would have mislaid her by my questions. But because she knew that this is my focus, my values are here. So you suspend? Her answer made me to suspend the right, I mean the word that I wanted to say to her. We need to be kinds of people who draw boundaries on ourselves. You understand? We draw boundaries on, on ourselves. Mm. We need to know that, like I said, if you have no direction, you'll be useless. You'll be useless. And wherever the wind comes, it will blow you in different directions. Why? Because you have no direction yourself. So you need to draw your lines and know, this is me and this is what I want. I'll give you an example, a very simple, a brief example. My ways of doing things is that anybody who has negativities in everything they do or they say, that person doesn't sit on my table with me. You know why? Because me and him don't share the same dreams. The dream you have deep down in you, 